Welcome to Around the World Channel. No deal for Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. Picking winners, losers and dominoes. ESPN. The franchise tag extension deadline has come and gone. While a long-term contract between Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys seemed to make sense for all parties involved, the two sides weren't ABL. Tom Bergeron has clever response to Tyra Banks taking over, Dancing with the Stars Fox News. Tom Bergeron gave a light-hearted reaction to the news that Tyra Banks will replace him as the host of ABC's, Dancing with the Stars. Ivanka Trump backs Goya, by endorsing black beans she possibly violates ethics rule, CNN. CNN, White House advisor and president's daughter Ivanka Trump may have violated a government ethics rule when she posted a photo of herself holding a can of black beans Tuesday night. He should be paid. Ryan Tanhill demands a new contract for star running back, essentially sports. The deadline for the Tennessee Titans to sign Derrick Henry is closing in faster than ever. They must sign papers before 4 p.m. Eastern Time today in order to secure a long-term deal. To avoid leaks, Daniel Snyder keeps small circle for name, logo process, NBC Sports, NFL. As the Washington franchise continues an expedited process for selecting a new name and logo, team owner Daniel Snyder is doing what he can to avoid leaks. NYPD officials attacked, bloodied at Brooklyn Bridge police brutality protests, New York Post. Video tweeted out by the NYPD Tuesday appears to show a protester on the Brooklyn Bridge use a stick like a baton to whack police officers over the head. Fired over anti-Semitic comments, Nick Cannon wants, wild and out, ownership, NPR. Actor and comedian Nick Cannon was fired from his long-running Wild and Out show over anti-Semitic comments he made on his Cannon's Class podcast. Moderna's coronavirus vaccine ready to advance to final phase of testing, CBS News. The first COVID-19 vaccine tested in the U.S. revved up people's immune systems just the way scientists had hoped, researchers reported Tuesday. The shots are poised to begin key final testing. Dow Jones gains on vaccine news. Goldman Sachs stock jumps on strong earnings, while United Health slumps, Motley Fool. The Dow Jones Industrial Average DJINDICES, carat DJI, breached 27,000 early Wednesday, but the rally had partly faded by lunchtime. The Dow was up around 0.5% by noon EDT today. Walmart and Sam's Club to require all customers to wear masks, ABC News. Walmart and Sam's Club announced Wednesday that they will start requiring all customers to wear face coverings when shopping at its stores as the coronavirus pandemic rages in the U.S. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.